always a pleasure to welcome Greg Sharon I'm back to our program from Home Instead Senior Care. And today we're talking about a busy time of year, getting into the gift giving time of year, and yet we're trying to do right by our, uh, you know, either elderly parents or or loved ones. And we're talking about the gift of time. So what do you mean when you say the gift of time? Well, when I say gift of time, you're exactly right. You know, it's a busy time of year. We're settling into fall routines. Mm -hmm. What we see in our office is, uh, you know, a lot of phone calls from family members who are saying, you know what, we live in Battlefords or, or we live in town and we're just super busy and we're not getting over to moms and mom and dads as yeah. much as we'd like. Yeah. And so we're able to support that mm -hmm. by providing that companionship mm -hmm. and that one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. engagement and, okay. and give family members a little bit more of a margin so that when they do come come to mm -hmm. visit I mean it's a bit cliche but you know it's it's quality time yeah. it's not time where I show up and I've yeah. got to yeah. you know do five things on the to-do list yes. including maple bugs and windows yes you know? I know I, I, can, clear. I can spend time because yeah. we need to have these important conversations mm -hmm. in an ongoing way with our with our parents to take a step back if mm -hmm. I may sure. you know we we plan retirement pretty yeah. well mm -hmm. and most people plan death but it's those chapters of life in between sure. when conditions will change mm -hmm. and and our wishes need to be expressed. Yeah, yeah. So I need to know, I need my kids even now to sure. know what we're thinking down the road. Yeah. And we certainly want to know mm -hmm. what our aging parents are wishing. Mm -hmm. And we want them to know that, you know, the, it's creating time to have those conversations yeah. that I think is most important. That could be a real gift. And and that's and that's the thing is that it's like they're, they're important conversations. Many of the subjects that you and I have talked about on yeah. previous occasions where, you know, talking about, hey, you know, how are your driving skills? And they don't always have to be critical things, but no. it's like, you know, open. how are you feeling? It's like, you know, is, you know, is everything fine here? Like some of the people are going to be in care homes. Some are still, some people obviously still living on their own. And it's like, yeah. you know, you know, how are, you know, are you talking to people? Are you, are you meeting people in, in the neighborhood still? Stuff like that. Expressing care and love and concern mm -hmm. and really trying to push against, you know, um, the, the prevailing idea, you know, I, I'm, things are fine. You know, what they're really saying is it's not bad enough. Yeah, <laughs> you know, well, we've talked about that before, it's too. Like, it's like, okay, I, we got to create more time to cycle back and say, you know what, let's keep talking about this because it, it, it's important. It doesn't have know? to be a crisis right. every time, you know, and that's the thing. Sometimes it's like, well, they haven't called, so everything must be cool. Yeah. You know, and sometimes they're thinking, well, you're too busy. Oh, my kids are too busy. My grandkids are too busy. Yeah. I won't call. Yeah. So we want those kids to call us yeah. and we can work together, yeah. put a plan together yeah. to say, you know what, we can visit a couple times a week, do some so, things. So that's, that's a service you'd offer? Absolutely. Like, somebody will pop by and say, hey, how's it going so it's uh yes. well it's it's a visit and it's structured and it's and it's regular so okay. then the family knows okay at least a couple times a week we know that people are with mom yeah. and dad yeah helping them manage life and we can kind of come in mm -hmm. and, and out of that but otherwise there's that guilt and that frustration mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. a week's gone by and i haven't called my mom yeah you know? yeah we want to really try to help everybody kind of stay connected this yeah, fall particularly sure, sure. well exactly and, and and that's the thing is that it's as, as we talked about people's very busy schedules and uh not to, not not to give people a uh too much of a hunk of home plate there to say I, uh, that it wasn't my fault yeah um let's talk a little bit about uh be a santa because sure. it because it's christmas season's gonna be here fast christmas season's gonna be here fast and be a santa is gonna look a little different this year oh. but based on just the incredible response we've had from the community mm -hmm. um where we're at in our office right now is we're anticipating a move okay. in the next little while and we just felt like you know uh to do things the way we've always done them it'd be a little hard a little rough right so okay. what we want to do is so uh, we've posted some information on our website people can just go to okay. home instead saskatoon be a santa to a senior okay. and uh, that all that information will be there but that gift of time yeah. is very much at the heart of mm -hmm. it again okay. it's get together you know go to a place where some seniors are living yeah. in long-term care isolated in you know sort of uh lonely and and spend some time with them this season and you know what and sometimes a simple conversation is all they're looking for absolutely for sure <laughs> always good talking to you as well so i uh, will have more from greg in, uh, in a month from now